Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals, and the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Kingdom, Galvatron. And this decal set includes four decal sheets, one on foil, and three on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Galvatron, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now with the Kingdom Galvatron decal set, you do get enough decals to enhance one of Galvatron's ship guns. So right here, this is what one looks like straight out of the packaging. Lots of molded details all over the top. The bottom is very waffly, as they call it. But still, this thing looks great as far as the sculpting is concerned. So there is one final look at Galvatron's ship gun before and after. Galvatron's ship gun is now the Revenge from Transformers the Movie. And just real quick... The decals are a lot more purple than what my camera is showing. I guess if I get the light just right, you can see how purple they are. But what a difference this makes. This is so cool. Of course, you got the multiple purple decals all along the top of the ship. The yellow cockpit right there. Yellow decal there. Underneath, you got another yellow decal here. And one right there. So that looks awesome. Now... I just need a display stand to put that somewhere on my shelf. And fortunately, my good buddy Firetox, I sent him a picture of this, and he is making a display stand with a Decepticon insignia that you can download if you have a 3D printer and you can make one for yourself. So that's pretty cool. There is an image of his render, and I'm going to put his contact information in the description of the video. So there you go, guys. There is Galvatron's ship gun after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Galvatron looks great and very faithful to his G1 cartoon appearance. Now, take note. I've cleaned all the battle damage off of my Galvatron. So mine's going to look a little bit different than one you would take straight out of the packaging. Now, taking a closer look at the figure... Great paint applications. I love the silver face with the red eyes. Got some silver here on top of the shoulder pylons. A light purple Decepticon insignia there on the chest. Not a big fan of that. I like the more dark purple Decepticon logos. He's got red there for the abs. Moving on down, let's see, we got some black paint right here. And his translucent orange barrel with some... Kind of terrible paint applications right there near the base. So, not a big fan of that. On the knees, we got some red and black and some black there for the tips of his shoes. So, all in all, Galvatron looks awesome as is, and I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. So, there you go, guys. One final look at Galvatron before. And after, Galvatron here gets an upgrade worthy of the Chaos Bringer himself, thanks to Toy Hacks. And the first decals you're probably noticing are the ones on his cannon that cover up all of that nasty paint from earlier. And that looks so good. And it wraps all the way around. You got two separate pieces, plus the little orange pieces right there, and a new tip for the barrel and kind of a orange chrome. Now, right here, this takes a little work to get this to go on right because this is one of the vinyl decals and you need to apply heat to get it to curve correctly. So what I did, I stuck the tip 
right there and then lined up the decal with that square. And then once I laid it down, I applied heat and was able to bend it over in place and it turned out really good. So I love how that cannon looks now. Taking a look at Galvatron's head, he gets a new red decal right there on the crest and new decals for the eyes. I love how that catches the light. We've got red decals right there on the shoulder pylons and there on top and a new chrome ring around the neck. I love how that looks. Now to get that applied, there's a screw right there on the back of Galvatron's head. Unscrew that, pop the head off, and it makes applying those chrome decals a lot easier. He also gets a new decal right there on top of the chest and a brand new Decepticon logo that I think looks a lot better than the one he came with. New decals right there on the sides. I need to switch hands. And he has new decals right there for the red on his stomach. Now you do have the option of all chrome decals, but I like the red. The red, black, and purple really work well for Galvatron. Moving on down here to the hips, his hip skirts get decals right there, red and black, and red underneath. Moving on down to the knees, new red decals there, and new gray decals right there on the calves. And just like the cannon, use some heat when applying these. Stick these on, warm them up, and then make sure that they lay down nice and flat. There is a lot of curves on Galvatron. Moving on down to the feet, we got red decals there for the toes and black decals on both sides of the foot to kind of extend the black right there that was how he was out of the package to make the shoe, in a way, go all the way around. And there you go, guys. I think he looks awesome now. Galvatron in robot mode after. In canon mode, straight out of the packaging, Galvatron still looks really good and retains a lot of the same colors from robot mode. Taking a closer look at the figure, we've got the translucent barrel right here on the front with that shoddy looking paint right there near the base. And speaking of the base, I do like the silver that goes around the whole front of the cannon. Moving along, I love the treads. Great molded detail, and I love the silver wheels there on the inside. Got a little bit of red paint right there. You got the silver, black, and purple up here along the top. And there's the black that was the robot shoes. And that's pretty much it. So there you go, guys. There's one final look at Galvatron in canon mode before and after. Galvatron's cannon mode gets quite a few enhancements thanks to toy hacks. And my favorite has to be right up here. This entire front is chrome now. And that looks so cool. Very nice throwback to the original Generation 1 toy. Now you do have to pay attention to which decals go where because there's decals that go here on the very front and along the side. And make sure that these dashes go on the bottom or the end closest toward the main body of the tank because it will go all the way around. And that looks really, really good. There's also new purple decals right there. And of course, you got the cannon barrel decals once again. Moving along the side, we got red decals here, here, and down here on the treads or the track. Decals right there where the sh robot shoulders were. And inside the tracks, you see chrome bars that kind of connect the wheels together. So that looks really good. Moving along the cannon, we got the red decals right there. New decals here on the side of the strut. And red decals right there. The same one that was on the robot foot from earlier. And a fun little decal, if I can get to it, pop the back off. And inside, you've got a copyright 2005 Unicron, made in Unicron, all rights reserved. So I like that, a nice little hidden Easter egg for the Galvatron decal set. So there you go, guys, Galvatron in canon mode after. 
Toy Hacks really impressed me with their decal set for Kingdom Galvatron. I thought the figure looked perfect, especially after I got all the battle damage off of him, but adding all those new details really make this figure pop, and I think it just adds enough personality to him without being overly busy. I love the red highlights, like right there on the stomach and the knees, up on the pylons, and that cannon, that cannon right there is worth the whole set. I'm also a big fan of the new Decepticon insignia. I think that looks great on the figure. And all in all, they really improved the looks of Galvatron. And this is one figure I've worked on a lot. Not only have I taken the battle damage off, but I also had to do the shoulder repair on this guy. I put the work in, and now, without a doubt, this is one of my favorite figures from the Kingdom line. And now, as a thank you for your continued support of Patriot Prime Reviews, Toy Hacks was kind enough to send an extra set of Galvatron decals. So I'm going to give these away to one lucky viewer. Just comment in the comment section below, hashtag I'm stuck on Toy Hacks to be entered to win a set of these awesome Galvatron decals for yourself. So once again, hashtag stuck on Toy Hacks and I'll draw the winner in a week. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!